Hello everyone, Gary Bates from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. I wanted to put up Nick Price today, one of my favorite players, and a guy that just dominated golf in the early 90s, won the 92 PGA and the 94 British Open and PGA, and got to number one in the world. And was just a fabulous ball striker. He's a great model, I think, because he didn't hit the ball tremendously long, but really solid ball striker. And so let's take a look at what he does so well and maybe some things we can learn from his swing. So it's a pretty good camera angle right here. And I draw those lines to so you can see body motion and that circle, obviously, to watch his head motion because some, some things here that he does – that are really fundamentally very strong in my opinion. So um, let's take a look at his setup. Ball position, a little bit back, maybe a center. Um, I like center for five through sand wedge, say, or lob wedge. A lot of people ask me about ball position. I would say those clubs, center uh, is, is good, even slightly back. Because remember, you're trying to hit ball, then ground. And I think for most amateurs, uh, this kind of ball position is good. <laughs> it happened to be good for Nick Price as well. So a little forward press with the hands ahead of the ball. Pretty, I would say his V's of his grip go somewhere towards his right eye or shoulder. So um, good grip. You know, I end up strengthening a lot of left hands, uh, left hand grips with people, getting them stronger. A lot of times they have that V to their left shoulder. They end up slicing a lot. They can't close a club face. So that's something to pay attention to. And if you work with me, I'll I'll really pay close attention to your setup and your grip here. So um, let's take him into motion. You know, just a beautiful motion. Um, he had a fast swing. You can't see it here, but a very fast tempo. And that varies among players, too. You Some people say you kind of swing the speed you talk at. So you can see I swing pretty fast. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, nice hinge, nice turn right here. Right, we often talk that you know players get done with their hinge somewhere in this range and allows them to play half shots, quarter shots, pitch shots where you have a full hinge. So I think that's cool. Obviously, head very still right here, which we see just a fundamental and just about every good player that we watch here. Um, so let's bring them back to the top. You know, good shoulder turn. He looks to be in that 90 to 95 range. And I like this length for an iron. I think y'all. Uh, should try to be, if you can, a little more controlled in this three chords, a seven eighth with an iron. Remember, with irons, it's about, um, you know, obviously accuracy, but it's distance control, right? So you don't have to hit it super hard. You got to be, you know, uh, how to control that golf ball. So very rotary motion, right? You don't see that right hip move too far to the right. So many amateurs I see, so much sway and stay. The tour players kind of turn and burn, I'll say. And so this is where they turn hard. So you turn back, you got that great uh, turn here, and then you go lateral, right? So he's driving, arms are following the body, retains the angle here, meaning the body led. So there's that 90-degree angle between his left arm and the shaft, right? Moving laterally, head still, slightly compressed downwards, into the ball, you got a nice impact position, very similar to where he was, hands leading, which is very important with an iron. And like I mentioned, a lot of times that left leg, like halfway through the line, is where I see most tour players in this position impact. That means you moved over, so that's important in my mind. You can see the right foot kind of angled towards the target, which is good. It means you're moving. He kind of rolls on that left uh, foot a little bit. That's, to me, a preference. Um, I, I think you see really good players with both. Some roll on it, some kind of keep it firm. Either way, I think it's okay. Good extension, right hand over left right there. Means he released the club, and so up nicely in the follow-through. Boy, you know, I hate to say this, maybe, but he reminded me so much of Hogan when I first saw him in the early 90s. Just blurred the ball. I saw him at... Hartford Open. He was so impressive to watch. I said, I think this guy's going to do pretty good. And he really did. So anyhow, that's Nick Price. We always love if you could subscribe to these videos on YouTube. Give us a thumbs up over on Facebook, uh, Gary Bates Golf Academy. And if you like these videos, I'd love to do one for you. So easy to send to me on the V1 app. I send it to you with this kind of analysis. I think I can really help you improve. So thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you so much. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.